everybody. We're in Winnipeg. Go figure another Atlanta franchise had to come north of the border, but the Jets have been rocking fine again since 2011. Yeah, you can just feel the buzz in this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening faceoff. The Jets take possession to get this one underway. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Oh, they telegraphed the pass, and he picks it off. Winnipeg's got it along the wall. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Hughes grabs the puck inside his own territory. Taken by Shifley. Besser's taking it from his own end. Moves it to Pedersen. Along the half wall with the puck. And he takes the pass. Dives in front of the shot to block it. The Jets take possession here in the open ice. Ehlers has got it along the wall. Oh, denied on the play! Wow! Oh, that's a true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Let's get the call. The Jets are being called for tripping. goaltender who finds his rhythm the more shots he faces within the course of a game guys that's his workhorse zone ability and it's how he stays engaged with the play puck scooped up by Heronic makes the save and somehow he hangs on moves it quickly over to Dylan. the Canucks gain possession McKay has got it in the defensive end Rocks him on the play. Winnipeg's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Nice job to escape the zone. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Now a quick pass to Suter. And that's broken up. Trying to clear the zone. And they get it out. Puck picked up by Hironic. Angles it over to Lafferty. He carries the puck up along the wing. Gonna give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Pedersen's good at picking his spots with his snipe zone ability. When the puck is flat and settled, his shots become laser beams. Hellebuck's got great technique and the athletic ability to backstop his team effectively. I'll be watching closely to see if one of those players can give their team the edge. Now back to you. Winnipeg's playing it from the side. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it around along the half wall. Winnipeg's looking to break out of their own end. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Still looking for our first goal. Vancouver's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Oh, and that misses. Well, you can see the frustration in his face as he looks up at the roof. This guy knows how important it is to get the first marker in a game. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Quick feed to Pion. Pedersen's been really impressive tonight, in particular on that last play, James. I mean, the wherewithal to keep your eye on the prize, eye on the puck, and just redirect the puck to the net. I mean, that's attack mentality, and he has it tonight. Here's a short pass to Heronic. And a nice save there as play continues. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Slides the puck across. Dumps it in. The Jets gain possession in their own end. Winnipeg's looking to break out. And he takes the feed. Great poke by Ehlers. That opportunity's rejected. Puck is frozen and we'll get a faceoff. Just here in the late stages of this frame, we've still got zeros on the board. Luger's won the face-off. Looks to make a play over to Garland. Poked 
away at center by Ehlers. Quick pass to Luger. The Canucks played along the boards. Fantastic stick save by Hellebuck. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. this beautiful deke and gift of a pass. I mean, knowing how to draw the coverage to you, that is creativity at its finest. Winnipeg's got to be feeling good about getting that goal here late in the first, Cheryl. Yeah, I like the energy that they created for their bench even before the goal, James. They started to pressure, and that's something that I noticed. There was a change late in the first. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how we got to that one, James, and the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. You can really sense the nervous energy here from the home fans here with this pressure. There's a save! Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. And they go the other way as they clear the zone. Here's a shot. That's blocked by Demko. We know the goaltender was set to this position, square to the shooter, to be able to make that club save. We're still in the early stages of this period. Winnipeg's up one zip. The Jets win that offensive zone faceoff. Puck grab by Perfetti. Morrissey's going to play it against the half wall. Here he is. The they score! And it's back to back tallies. Yeah, they've been chopping at the bit. Now they've got their opponent on their heels. They need a quick change here and find a way to continue the momentum. Man, James, he's the benefactor of a great passing play. I mean, incredible vision to be able to land that puck right on his stick. But then he's got to do something with it, right? He's got to read where the goaltender is, and he's got to hit the back of the net. The Jets make their way back to center now, boasting a two-goal lead here in the second. Uh, and you can certainly see that they're playing more relaxed, much easier when you've got a two-goal lead here, James. But I've liked everything about their game tonight. They've been creative, they've played free, but they've also been defensively responsible. And now it's grabbed by Hironic. Moves it to Makaya. Big time stop. The Canucks have it now. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. What a steal in his own end. Steps in 
inside the attacking zone, down the left wing. Sends it to the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Pokes the puck away. And the puck skips out of the zone, they'll be forced to tag up. Uses the force on that hit. And now it's to Perfetti. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Winnipeg's got the puck against the half wall. Oh, but how do you miss that? I mean, it's all part of the game, but Cheryl, you've got to connect on that one. Well, you do, especially when you get those grade-A scoring chances. You have to find a way to, at minimum, get it to the net. But, man, I think he had a little more time on his side, and it just ricochets off his toe. Moves it quickly over to Lowry. Tries to the paint! Stopped by the goaltender. Blocked in traffic. Denies him again! I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. Quick feed to Sidora. Oh, what a great save by Hillebuck. And he slides it quickly to Sidora. Joshua's taking a nasty whack, and that's going to draw a penalty. Let's see what the official says here. The Jets will serve two for slashing. The Canucks send their man advantage unit out once more. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice, spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. And a smart heads-up play to poke that away by Janssen Fialbi. The Canucks look to start the transition game. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. Here we go, pucks in deep. The Canucks have it now. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Moves it in front. Block shot. Here's a short pass to Kuzmenko. With the stop. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Barron's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Winnipeg's got the win off that draw. The Canucks going to work on offense. Slick feed. And that misses. Stopped by the goaltender. Gives him a tap with the stick, and the referees don't like it. Quick shot. And that's turned aside by Hillebuck. My goodness, look at this. The pressure is really starting to come. Scores! And I guess they won't need that power play after all. Well, it's a delayed call looks as that the defensive structure collapses and man do they take advantage oh man he's an incredible passer James I mean he's got IQ and awareness so he knows where he wants to put the puck so he's one step ahead of everyone but then it's all about your delivery you have to give a pass that someone can receive so the perfect timing or the temperature you want to make sure that it's flat it's crisp and he seems to do it every single time here in the later stages of this period the Canucks make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. Takes it across the blue line. Quick pass to Miller. Great stick work as he pokes it away. Hellebuck's been dominant in the crease tonight. He's turned away a lot of high-danger shots, and he's really found a way to build some momentum for his team, giving him a real opportunity to win. Shot! What a blocker stop at point blank range by Hellebuck. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. Just a reminder to always keep your eye on the puck. It can enter the seating area and cause serious injury. Face-off for period number three is ready to go. All right, the puck is dropped on the third and final frame. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? They 
Vancouver is looking for the equalizer in this final 20 minutes of play, James. And I thought that their first 40 minutes, they were strong. You know, their effort areas were quality. I thought that they had a lot of grit to their game. But now they got to find a way to drive the paint. They got to have an attack mentality as they're trailing by one. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. On the attack along the boards. Here's a shot. And he meets that one square on to stop it. Vancouver's looking to continue putting more and more shots on net, but they're going to have to finish one of these chances as they trail in the third. And they win the offensive zone faceoff. Now let's see if they can capitalize. And there's another stop. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. And he gives it over to Besser. Vancouver's ready to go on the attack. Gray heads up play in the defensive zone. Here's a blast. Gives them nothing in front. Vancouver's got the puck. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear, and they have done that here. Takes a shot. Scores! And we are back to even. Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they've showed throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they've just created and doing something with it. This is a great goal, James. I mean, they have sustained offensive pressure and they have their opponent hemmed in their zone. I have been on the other side of this and it is tough. You're worn down, you start running around, you get caught out of position and you can't recover. You're vulnerable and that's exactly what happened here and they took advantage. The Canucks have got to keep pressing here, Cheryl. After getting that equalizer, they've got to feel that buzz right now. Yeah, they'll want to build on top of that goal and really just continue to do what they've been doing all game, and that's possess the puck. We've been waiting for this to happen because they've been all around it. It finally did. Strong defensive effort. Besser's made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net but finds the puck and could have lost it but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Quick feed down low. He grabs the puck here at the point. Quick shot, and that got caught up in traffic and goes off a stick. Feeds it to Iafalo. Moves it to Nemestikov. With possession along the wall. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. And he takes the feed. Vancouver's worked hard to get themselves back in this game, James. They didn't have a great start. They struggled in the beginning, but they fought and fought their way back to time. Reaches out and pokes it away. Here's a shot. Comes up with the block. Absolutely fearless. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Past the midway mark in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Winnipeg's got it across the line. Takes the pass. And that's blocked away. Oh, puts it wide. And oh, you know he'll want that one back. Well, you can see the frustration right there. I think there was a sense of urgency, but he had more time than he thought. Takes the return feed. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Taken by Zadorov. Joshua's got the puck. Hammers it on net. And he gets in front of the slap shot to make the save. Looks to get the puck over to Shifley. Fired into the offensive zone, and they'll make some changes. Handles the bank pass from along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Miller. Trying to get back on the attack now. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Oh, this is why you play the game, James. Dying seconds of the third period, and you get the go-ahead goal. That could be the game winner right there, and they're certainly celebrating like it is. 
The Canucks with a huge goal here in this third period. Now buckle up and can they hang on? Oh, I think it's more than hanging on, James. They've got to continue to attack and they've got to manage the puck. I mean, yes, it's the third period. There's a lot of runway left here. It's only a one goal game. Winnipeg's goalie is on the bench. The extra attacker has jumped into the play. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. Here they come. Dumps the puck in. The Canucks take possession in the defensive end. Chance at an empty netter here. Misses. There's the final horn, and that'll do it here this evening. The Canucks come away with the win on a night that they looked like they were going to come away with the win. Honestly, Cheryl, they were good out there. Yeah, and the game was tighter than it probably should have been. They certainly deserved the win. They had the numbers in their favor in terms of analytics and possession time. What I really liked is their support of the puck carrier, and that allowed them to hold it even longer. Boys and patience, James. That tells a story. Thanks so much for joining us. We had a great time. Hope you did, too. For all of us here at EA Sports,